What's up, Elite ThenX athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official ThenX. Today we're covering lesson two, how to start calisthenics, push-ups and dips. If you haven't seen lesson one on pull-ups, click the card notification to watch it now. All right, so let's get started. So today we're covering lesson two of how to start calisthenics, push-ups and dips. Push-ups and dips mainly engage your triceps and your chest. Mastering these moves are gonna increase your strength to be able to do more advanced movements like explosive dips, weighted dips, and eventually handstand push-ups and even harder exercises. So first, we're gonna master the push-up. So the first progression to mastering the push-up is the knee push-up. Let me show you guys what that looks like. So from here, you want to be straight from your knee all the way to your shoulder. Engage your core mainly so that your butt doesn't droop down or that you're not too up like this. You have to be in a straight line from your knee to your shoulder to really engage that core and to really be doing it with good form and properly. From here, you want to have your hands right underneath your shoulders, about shoulder width apart, and you want to let your body go forward while keeping your elbows in. See? You can come an, about an inch off the ground and then come right back up. And when you come right back up, do not come up like this. <laughs> come up, engaging your core so that you can come down with perfect form and up with perfect form. You see, when you guys are going down, make sure that you don't flare out your elbow. You do that when you're just trying to go straight down. You see, you don't want to do it like that. You want to keep your elbows in and you want to look forward and let your body go forward, then come back up. So this move right here is pretty simple. Anyone can master their push-ups using this first progression. So you guys wanna be able to do this about 10 reps perfectly and comfortably before moving on to the next progression. So the next progression, once you've mastered that, is assisted push-ups. So you would do a push-up on an elevated surface. It could be a table, the side of a bar, the side of a bench, but having this elevation is gonna make the push-up a lot easier because of the angle. So you see, it takes some of the weight off by having this angle. So we're gonna start with an assisted push-up. Looking forward, shoulders forward, and we're gonna go down by moving forward and keeping our elbows in. Come down to the chest area, right back up. So you wanna make sure to go just an inch above from the chest line and then push right back up. When you guys push up, make sure that you don't push up and your elbows are sticking out and you're straining. If you're straining, even on this move, you need to go back down to the knee push-ups or you need to be doing it at a higher surface. You see, something like this. And anybody can start doing this. Even my grandma does this as a warm-up. All right, so once you have been able to do this move right here comfortably and you've mastered an elevation, always challenge yourself and bring that elevation lower until you're doing it on a bench, on a stool, and eventually you'll find yourself being able to do it on the ground. So now we're gonna do it from here. Keeping those elbows in, looking forward, coming back in, and do not rush it. Also, full range of motion, all the way up and all the way down. That is super important. If you're not going all the way up and all the way down, full range of motion in your workouts, you're not fully engaging your muscle when you're doing this. You're only working a small portion of your tricep or your chest or your bicep if you're working out pull-ups or whatever the workout is. So always perfect form, guys. Always full range of motion. When you're doing this move right here, you wanna make sure that, again, you're not drooped down and you're not sticking up. And the way that you stay right in the middle is by engaging your core, squeezing your core, tighten your core, tighten your glutes, and you will eventually be able to just always be in this position. If you still don't know, if you're in the position good, if your butt is a little too down or up, just film yourself and you'll see. You'll be able to correct your form over time by filming it and analyzing it. All right, so once you guys have been able to do this at a good elevation, you see about something like this height, 10 times in a row, you're ready to move on to the next progression. If you guys are still having trouble moving on to these progressions, you can always go in to the Fenix app 
and go into the introduction to calisthenics program where we cover all of this, how to master the pull-up, push-up, dips, core, everything. All right, and they will break down these progressions step by step and they also have workouts that will guide you through each progression to give you a break to master your progressions to be able to move on to the next progressions comfortably. All right, so let's move on ahead. So the next progression we have is high plank to low plank. So now as you can see, we're in a push-up position. So from here, you wanna be straight, straight, straight like a pencil from your shoulder to your foot. From here, chin up, and we're gonna start with the left arm. From here, we're slowly gonna lower our body, but first we're gonna shift the weight onto one side, get that arm down. Then shift the weight onto the other side, bring the other arm down. This is high plank to low plank. Make sure to go the other side. So when you guys are doing this, make sure that you are in complete control. You're not bending down when you come down and dropping your body weight super hard. It's really gonna be bad for your shoulders. Also, make sure that your hips are not drooping even when you go up and when you come down. And make sure to do it on both sides. All right, so you wanna be able to do this comfortably with perfect form 10 times in a row before moving on to the next progression. And the next progression is push-ups. So by this time, you should have mastered the progressions previously to build your strength to do your first perfect push-up. So let's do it. We're gonna start in that push-up position. Hands, shoulder width apart, right under our shoulders. Feet tight, legs tight, glutes tight, core tight. Looking forward, and from this position right here, we're gonna make sure our elbows are in, and we're gonna lean forward and let our body come down. One inch off the ground, then come back up. Now it's important, when you come up and down, do not drop that butt, do not stick it up, keep that core tight. This is a compound movement. You have to engage your whole body. And this is the push-up, guys. You wanna make sure that you're Elbows are not flaring out when you're coming down, and you have perfect form always. If you can't do many reps with perfect form, that's no problem. If you can do just one push-up, one perfect push-up, start from right there. Do that one perfect push-up, and then stop. It's better to do one push-up and sets of that one perfect push-up than five sloppy push-ups, all right? Because five sloppy push-ups turns into 10, 20, sloppy. You know, there's no foundation and that's not impressive. You wanna build one perfect push-up, that's gonna build a strong foundation for five perfect push-ups, 10 perfect push-ups, 20, and you're gonna feel and see the difference in your body, all right? So make sure to be doing these perfect. Even if you can only do one, do that one, stop. Wait until you're ready to go again. One, stop. Same thing if you could do two or three. When you can't do push-ups anymore, start increasing those reps to get those perfect push-ups to 10, 20, 30, you wanna start working down the progression. So once you've maxed out your push-ups you can't do anymore, you go to the next hardest progression. Elevated push-ups. And when you can't do these anymore, you go and do it higher elevation, knee push-ups, and so forth. Working your way down, maxing out the progressions. Once you guys have mastered the push-up, you guys can do like 10, 20, 30 perfect push-ups. It's time to start learning new advanced moves, like explosive push-ups, wide, diamond, and even some like archers. And you wanna start to incorporate these more advanced movements into your workout regimen, and it's gonna make you an overall better athlete. You can also add weight onto your push-ups, do weighted push-ups, that's gonna take you to the next level. So to get to the next level with all these moves incorporated into your workout regimen, become a member right now to Fenex.com. If you guys still are having trouble with this move right here, you have the whole entire introduction to calisthenics with the pull-ups, push-ups, whole core, and everything to get you started in calisthenics training on Fenex.com. And if you are interested in these calisthenics workouts, weighted calisthenics, and weights and calisthenics workout programs, 
We have them all with new content coming in every week, provided by myself and the Fenix athletes. All right, so now we're gonna move on to mastering the dips. The first progression to mastering your dips is behind the back dips. So let me show you guys what that looks like. You wanna keep your elbows in, come all the way down, full range of motion, all the way back up. So once you guys have mastered this move, again, what makes this move difficult is the angle. So bring it down to a lower elevation and it gets more difficult. Keep those elbows in. You wanna make sure that you guys are going full range of motion all the way up and all the way down. All right, so once you have mastered this move right here, you can do about 15 with perfect form. You're ready to move on to the next progression. The next progression is behind the back dips elevated. So now we're gonna bring our legs up and this is gonna apply more weight onto this move. Here we go. So you guys wanna make sure, again, you're doing full range motion, perfect form, always. So now when you can master this move right here, it's time to go on to the next progression, but you wanna make sure that you can do about 15 to 20 with perfect form before moving on. All right, so let's go to the next progression. All right, so the next progression is jump negative dips. So now we're gonna go finally into the dip position. The dip position, you wanna have your elbows in and you wanna have a really tight grip on the bar. That's super important. All right, so from here, you wanna make sure your chin is up and we're gonna jump up and then from this position, make sure that your scapulas are down, see? Don't be hunched like this. You wanna have nice, good activation in your scapulas, squeezing, by your hands. From this position, lean a little bit forward and keep your elbows in, kind of like the push-up. Keep that core tight, activate the core, and you should come down smooth. All right, this is the jump negative dip. So we're gonna jump up and then come down as slow as you can. Even if you can't go down that slow, you can still just start off by jumping up and coming down as slow as you can. Eventually, you'll build that strength. You can switch with one leg, and eventually you'll be doing it coming down real slow. All right, so you guys wanna master this move right here. Keep that perfect form. Make sure you're activating that core. Make sure your elbows are in. Now, once you've mastered this, you're ready to move on to the dips. So the dips has the same technique as the jump negatives. You wanna make sure, it might even help if you start from the top, but you wanna make sure to have that tight, tight grip Make sure those scapulas are activated. You lean a little bit forward, activate the core. Keep those elbows in when you come down. Now keep leaning forward to come up. Not too forward so you fall, of course, but just a slight lean. You guys wanna make sure you're going full range of motion. I know I keep stressing that, but it's true. Like, you have to. You know, I see a lot of guys in the gym and they come up here and they're just like, ah, 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 ah. What is that? That's gonna go nowhere. You're gonna go nowhere with that. Listen, garbage reps, no offense, but seriously, how do you expect to work out that tricep if you're only using a tiny spot? You need to go all the way. And in calisthenics, we're going always to the next level. You have to be able to have full range of motion. All right, guys, so once you can master your first dip, remember, perfect form, just start off doing that one dip. Or if you can do two giving it a break, and then going. Then you wanna max out and start working down the progressions, going into the jump negatives, and you can't do any more normal dips, into the behind the back dips, etc. Once you've mastered your dips, you've taken those perfect one dip, and you've multiplied it into 10, 20, 25, 30, it's now time to start taking your calisthenics training to the next level. And the way you can do that, by applying extra weight on your dips, for me, this was key.
this was a total game changer. Weighted dips makes you crazy strong. And when you take this thing off, you feel like you're flying when you do dips. So from here, you would take it off and then go into the normal dips, jump negative dip, and start working those progressions all the way down so that you really exert that muscle and you exert that pushing movement. Once you guys get more advanced, you can also start putting in new moves that's gonna activate your pushing, dips, and this overall movement in a better way. For example, moving backwards, coming forward, one arm at a time. But to apply all these moves and more into your workout regimen, to start training like a beast, to start training like a Thenx athlete, you wanna sign up right now become a member to have full access to all our programs, all our daily workouts, content, everything on there. Don't forget to check out our pre-workout guys. It's on the Thenx shop. Check that out to really take your training to the next level. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you guys so much. And stick around because we got a lot more coming soon. Peace out.